focusing on the client, um, operational excellence, you know, everything you can you really measure in terms of the Melvin Award, if they hit it out of the park. In the early stage of the project, there was a question mark as to whether or not this job was gonna go or no go. Um, so we had some key individuals from the pre-construction side, along with Nate and Craig, uh, that came together and really made this project go. They expected us to deliver on the same high standards we've done before on a campus that has exceptionally high standards. So I think the bar was set high and the team knew it as they entered the job. When you look at what we built on that campus, we were taking up a significant part of their campus and with both projects being almost a quarter mile apart, there's a lot of logistics. It's hard to believe uh, these three buildings, we, we built it together and you see all the puzzle pieces come together and it's, it's pretty remarkable. Things that kept me up at night was make, making sure everything got coordinated and everything got planned out to a T so we weren't losing productivity, we weren't losing, um, we weren't lacking in quality and everybody stayed safe. One of their main points of their campus is they have this Italian travertine. Having built on campus before, um, the unique part about it is it's the same travertine from the same quarry in Italy. We had eight containers of that that had to get all those deliveries coordinated and delivered on time through the Panama Canal and re-coordinated all that. So I think I think she should, uh, you got to brag a little bit more. Takes <laughs> it. There was cross-training. Mike got to see what happens on the pre-con side before. Um, I got to see it on the field side afterwards. We're working with him side by side until we topped out. It definitely had positive impacts on the job. I think it had bigger impacts on our business long term is what the uh, kind of cool outcome of it is. It's really that you know excellent client experience that you know really sh you know showed by you know by this team and and the, the results for the Soka you know pro project and the university. But I was going to say genuine. Just everyone on the team being genuine, being real, working with with all these different team members and. Um, also cultivating relationships with HOK. HOK has had such high remarks and high regards for this job, and they do see it as a huge success for them in Southern California as well, which is great. Happy to be part of that. I think 10 years from now, um, I'll remember and, and continue the friendships. I'll probably remember walking the building with Arch, the CFO, and just looking at his face and how astonished and, you know, and amazed he was at the quality work that we put out there as a team. I'll be 36. Uh, but the thing that I would remember the most is, is like Connor said, the relationships. It would rain and we would all have to go outside and help, you know, get the gravel bags together and the sandbags were all slipping and sliding in the mud. Well, you know, they got five more buildings to build out there. So hopefully 10 years from now, we've built five more buildings out there and we'll have even more memories. Um, so I think we're in a real good position to win that work. Trade partners happy, our team's happy, clients happy, but keeping everybody happy is really super challenging and they, they did a great job of that. This team's a close, close-knit team. That's going to carry them on throughout um, their careers here at McCarthy. It's a really special um, kind of side outcome of winning the Melbourne together. So congratulations.